Hello and welcome to my channel Hustle & Slow where I talk all about reselling, making money from home, and building multiple streams of income. I have kind of a fun video to do today. I have a mystery box from another YouTuber slash reseller slash work at home mom. Um, her name is Ashley. I'm sure if you're following me for reselling content you've probably heard of her. She's Hustle at Home Mom. She's also here on YouTube and has a really great channel and it is just exploding so I'm so happy for her. But she did post on Instagram that she had some inventory she wanted to just get rid of because her office was full. And I jumped in and decided to buy one. Do I need inventory? Not really, but I haven't been sourcing in a while, or I hadn't been sourcing in a while when she posted them and I thought I'd give it a try because she really finds the best stuff. But she really just finds a lot of great stuff where she lives in Utah. So I thought I would grab a mystery box from her and see what we get. And I thought I'd make a video because it seems like a fun thing to do. Um, disclaimer. I am very pregnant and I am out of breath and get really hot easily, which is why my hair is up. I usually don't have my hair up in videos, but I just wanted to warn you that I might be huffing and puffing a little bit because I just, my lungs are squished. I can't breathe. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this up and then we're going to take a look at everything I got. And I'm also going to look up comps and see what the potential profit is on this box. It was 10 items and I think with shipping it was $37.99, so $38-ish dollars. If I'm making that up, I will put the correct number down at the bottom because I might be remembering that wrong, but let's just get started. So I'm going to open up this box and let's see what is in here. Where are my scissors? All right. Okay, so let's see what's in here. So first thing I see is a pair of jeans. So it's a pair of like light wash jeans and they are frame denim, which is a pretty good brand. Not something I find where I live in my little town in Oregon. So that's great. Um, do they have a name? Yep, they have a skinny day jean crop. Probably saying that wrong because it sounds pretty French, but we will look those up and see how much they can sell for. Next up is something in a bag. Oh, these are brand new Levi's. Um, the 517 boot cut and a size 30 by 32. So men's Levi's. Um, what's great about jeans, especially Levi's, is you can easily look this up. I can literally search Levi's 517 boot cut new and see what these will sell for. So we'll check those out in a second. Just in a pile. Let's step up back here and we'll hop on the computer together and look stuff up. This next thing looks like a skirt, 41 Hawthorne. Um, I wanna say this might be Nordstrom or Stitch Fix brand, I honestly don't remember. Um, not something I come across very often, but new with the tags, I will take it. It's like a knit stretchy skirt. All right, next up is a top, and the brand is Sundance. I love finding Sundance. So far, I'm very happy with this box. Um, and it's just like this lightweight, it's just like a, um, let me see where the arms are so I can see. It's like a boxy top. I'm not going to hold it up right, but it's like this boxy style top. And then this one fell out as well. This is We The Free, size medium, more of a basic shirt. Um, with my knowledge, I guess I can get maybe like 15 for that. Let's see what else is in here. Two more tops. This one is Eileen Fisher. Dropping things. I love finding Eileen Fisher. Um, usually they're linen or cashmere or organic cotton do best. What is this? Let's see if this is anything. 96% organic cotton. It's a nice basic white shirt. Um, I would guess, I'll have to look it up, but I would guess 25 to 30 on that. Oh, I dropped it again. Okay, this yellow top is... Also Eileen Fisher, this is the older tag. Um, and this is a yellow sleeveless button down top. Let me see. This is 100% Tussa Silk, T-U-S-S-A-H, so a silk top, that's great. I'm gonna guess again around maybe $30 for this. Um, it is an older style, but um, Eileen Fisher is more of a mature brand, so this might still sell okay. Let's see, this looks like is this only 10 items? I don't know. Um, Artisan Deluxe, I've never heard of this brand, but it's size 28 black jeans. 
Um, and they have like this detailing on the knee. They're skinny jeans. So I don't know anything about this brand at all. Um, I want to say, I don't know. I don't know. The, the, it looks familiar, but I've never sold it or looked it up before. So we'll have to look up comps on that. Let's see. This is a ridge cut tough wear shirt. Size large, it was men or women's? Women's? Maybe? Men? Men? Women's? I think it's women's. I'm not sure. I'll have to look. Um, there's the label. I've never seen this brand before. We'll have to look that up too. Um, it has this little zipper right here. I'm going to guess this is women's. This looks too small. A couple more items in here. Another Sundance top. I never find Sundance, and I have two in this one box. Um, Sundance usually sells for me 25 to 35 depending on what it is. There it is. And it's kind of like this, what do you call this? Like, like a velvet pattern on like a more of a sheer top. So we'll see if we can figure out how much that sells for. And then I see new with tags, pink gym to swim bottoms. So these are new with tags. Um, do they have a retail price on them? I don't know. Oh yeah. Retail is $26.95, size large. They're like the ruched in the back style. So I guess um, you could wear gym to swim on the Zoom, you can wear it as underwear and then go swimming. So bikini bottoms. And it is just about to be summer, so that is perfect. And then there are two more things. This is a red shirt. It's just a Nautica performance tee. Um, I don't know that this will sell for more than maybe like 10 bucks or so. Um, Nautica doesn't sell too well for me. But we can always look it up and see how it goes. And then this last thing is an Under Armour Boys Youth Large. It says MSRP 20. Is it a shirt? We're going to open it up because I'm not take pictures of it anyway. Or are they shorts? Oh, they're shorts. Okay, so boys shorts. The Under Armour logo, new with tags, MSRP 20. Probably could get like 12 to 15 for this, maybe a little bit less um, since they only sell for 20. So that is everything I got. It seems like more than 10 pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So we got 13 pieces um, for the, again, I want to say $37.99. I'm not even going to try to do the math on that because my pregnant brain can't handle it and I keep dropping stuff, but I don't know where my phone is to look it up or to do the math. So now I'm going to hop on the computer and let's see what everything sells for, what the comps are. All right, so now we're just on eBay and that's generally how I look up comps. I know I sell on a bunch of other platforms, but... I just look up comps on eBay. It's just the best, easiest way for me. Let me grab my notebook so I can write it down and we can tally at the end um, what I think I might be able to make with all of this stuff that I got from this uh, mystery box from Ashley. The first thing I'm gonna look up are is this 41 Hawthorne skirt. So I'm just gonna form skirt. And it is new with tags. And we're gonna look at items that have sold. So let's see. All right, so it looks like only seven have sold. I also, when I do this, I like to look and see how many have been completed that did not sell, um, just to see how the sell through rate is. So eight completed. Okay, so. We're looking at these, this cut and this cut is about the same. So maybe about $24. Um, so I'm going to write down that we can sell it for about 24. So that's the first item. And of course, these are just estimates. And a lot of times I will be able to list it at 24. I might take 20 on it. It honestly just depends. All right, let's go to the next one. Um, this is the We The Free, just a plain white t-shirt in a size medium. So I'm just gonna put we the free white shirt. I can even just put medium. And this is not brand new. My guess is about 
10 to 15 dollars let's see anything plain here this one's like an off shoulder one for 29.99 that's a lot better than i would expect this one's pretty similar 20 bucks oh so a little bit more than i thought but that's free shipping so i'm gonna say i was right and this one another weed free just kind of a plain white shirt 1995 this one 950 best offer so i'm gonna stick with my guess of about 15 dollars that's probably what I would list it for, and I'd probably get like 10 to 12 for it. All right. Next is the Sundance shirt. Um, like the boxy cut shirt with the embroidery on it that I can never hold up correctly. So let's check that out. Sundance embroidered top. Um, there are 1,100 of them, so let's put striped. So I can see if I can find one that's really similar. Oh, look this one embroidered sheer striped cotton boxy button down they had it at 29 and they accepted a best offer so I'm gonna say about 25 I like to be a little bit conservative and then I'll price a little bit higher because I do take offers on things so I do get a little bit less on some items All right this is a Nyleen Fisher um, the white button down, is it a button down? Oh no, it's not a button down, it's just a split neck um, sleeveless top, but it's organic cotton. So you want Eileen Fisher sleeveless white organic cotton. Let's see what comes up for that. That's a sweater vest. Um, I do want to do use, that'll so cut down the results. This one's similar but did not sell. This one's similar, but did not sell. Hmm. That doesn't mean it won't sell. This one's similar. I think it's actually a button down, button up. So $29.99 on that one. And then $29.99 on this one. So I'm going to stick to my guess of about $25. Like I said, to be a little bit more conservative. All right. And then this one is the Eileen Fisher, the older style tag. But it's yellow and it is, I think it said Tussa Silk, T-U-S-S-A-H. So let's search that. Let's see what comes up. I've never heard of that before. So these two are brand new, brand new, pre-owned. And this is the same style. It has like these knot buttons on them. It's almost like Asian inspired, it looks like to me. Um, Mandarin style. $28.99, so that's pretty good. Let's just, again, let's do 28 and we'll go with that. And then this is the pink gym to swim um, bikini bottoms. So I'm gonna search Victoria's Secret pink gym to swim black bottom. And then these ones are brand new. So let's look at new. And are, these are like all like the short style. This is more like the ruche bikini style, which I'm not seeing. All right, but what I am seeing is they're selling around 16, free shipping, 19 with shipping. I don't see any, if I put ruche, maybe it'll come up. This one's 19.99. So I'm gonna say around those ones were 60 and this one's 20. Let's just say about $20 for those. And then these are the Artisan Deluxe Jeans. Never seen them before. It really looks like the logo looks like my comforter logo, which I think is Artisan something as well. I don't know if they're related. Let's see about that. I don't see any. Take out skinny and just see black jeans. Um, is it still trying to look for? No, nope, I don't see anything at all. So let's just say jeans. All right, so it looks like these, they're all coming up as men's. It looks like maybe anthropology. I want to look into this a little bit more. I want to see if the logo is the same. 
No, the logo is totally different on that one. What about these ones? So I might have to do a little bit more digging on these. I'm not sure. Yeah, these ones are specifically free people. And these ones aren't selling. So these ones are free people too, though. So I'm not sure on these ones. I am stumped. I'm probably just going to list them for 25 and see how it goes. So we're just going to put 25 on that and hope for the best. I'm not really sure. Um, okay, this one is ridge cut Tupperware, size large. I really need to figure out if this is, maybe it is men's. It is a little bit big. I'm pretty pregnant and this still covers my belly. I don't know. Let's look it up and not choose whether it's men or women's and see what comes up. Ridge cut Tupperware. Long sleeve shirt. Um, it's not like a button down. It's like a almost like a performance shirt. Let's see. Let's go to used. Are there any that are like this one? These are all button down shirts. Okay, well these button down shirts are selling for 17, 21, 20. So I would guess that this, let me see. I would guess maybe 15 or around 15 for this. All right, the next one. Ooh. Is this Nautica shirt that I have my doubts about selling? This probably will just go into um, a box of stuff that I take to the buy sell trade store. But we'll search it anyway. Excuse me. Yeah, so brand new. This is 15 free shipping. So I will not be selling this. I'm going to put zero on this. I'll either throw it in a yard sale or um, take it to the buy sell trade store. All right, and then so we have these Under Armour boys shorts, heat gear, so Under Armour boys shorts, heat gear, black. And these are brand new. So we're gonna go click new. And let's look at only, since there's so many, there's 150 results. Let's look at only solds. Out of 150, 103 sold, so about a what is that 70 ish percent no yes 60 or 70 percent sell through rate um 9.99 18.95 999 so 15 550 but i don't like to look at auctions because those aren't very good for comps 16 so i'm going to say let's say about 12 dollars just to kind of be in the middle of that 10 to 15 dollar mark and then this next one is a Sundance top. It's like the one with like the velvet pattern on it. I don't know how to explain that, but let's see. Sundance velvet print top. I'm not sure. Oh, that's pretty similar. So we're going to go with that. That one's more tunic style. This one's a long sleeve, but I wouldn't call it like tunic style. But we'll go with that. Um, let's see. Burnout. That's what I want. Velvet burnout. Or let's just say Sundance Burnout Top. Yeah, that works. All right, let's see. This one's this one. This is the same one, $29.99. So we're just going to say it sells for $30. Unless I scroll through here and see that there's one that sells for a lot less. Or that someone sold it for a lot less. So about $30 for that. That's great. Now we're going to look up these Levi's. Um, Levi's, $5.17. And the size is 33, 32. I like to include the size because that does um, impact the price. So this is new with the tag, it's even in the bag, which I'll have to take it out of to take the pictures, but that's okay. Um, these ones are vintage, and so that's, we're not gonna look at that. Just the regular 517 boot cut jeans. So it looks like 32, 50, these ones are vintage. So I'm going to guess around $35 looking at these comps, which is great. I really like to list things that I can sell for $30 or more, or at least list for $30 or more. Sometimes you get a little bit less. It is how it is. But last one, these frame denim jeans. Um, it is a pretty small size, a size 25, but we will look them up. And then I will type in the name of the jean. There we go. 
Let me see how much they go for. And I'm gonna make sure to select pre-owned. And the wash is light, a light wash. So maybe I'll put light to see if we can narrow it down a little bit. Okay. So these look exactly the same with the raw hem and everything. $31.99 in free shipping, $26 free shipping. Seven dollars, but that's an option. I don't really consider that that one's best offer. Twenty nine free shipping, best offer. Twenty nine best offer. So I'm gonna say, or not best. It didn't take best offer. So twenty nine. So let's say around twenty nine dollars. So let's just say twenty nine for these, and that is everything. So so let me hop back onto the regular camera and we'll discuss. All right, we're back to the regular camera so that I can talk to you real fast. So I did double check how much I paid. It was $20 for the box plus $17.99 shipping because she shipped in a large flat rate, which makes sense. So $37.99 for everything. Um, I was supposed to get 10 items. I actually got 13. Um, so it would have been about $3.80 per item. Um, but I did get 13. I did pull one out because I'm not going to be selling the, that Nautica shirt that's not really worth selling. Um, so I ended up paying $3.16 per item for the 12 items that I did um, that I am going to list. And while this is higher than I usually spend because I usually shop at the bins, I didn't have to do anything to, to buy this stuff. So I didn't spend an hour at the bins, I didn't have to drive to the bins and all that stuff. And this is all listed, or this is all clean and ready to go. So it does save me a lot of time. So I am willing to pay up a little bit and I'm super happy with the box that I got because it gives me inventory that's still relatively inexpensive and will bring me a profit. So after looking at the comps with you on the computer, I tallied everything up and it looks like, so it looks like I'll be able to list the items for around $283. So if I take out that $38 that I spent, it will leave me with about $245. Of course there are eBay fees and other fees like, um, me sending the items to my fulfillment center, which cost me about $5 an item for them to store and ship. Um, so there will be other fees involved, but overall, pretty good box. The thing with mystery boxes is they can be hit or miss. I've sold them myself and I try really hard. It looks like Ashley did the same thing. I would try really hard to include things that people will actually be able to sell for a profit. And I do like to squeeze a couple extra things in just in case there are some things like that Nautica shirt that um, aren't as valuable or that specific person doesn't wanna sell. So. Um, this was a pretty good box. I'm very happy. I definitely am not going to lose money on this. I'm going to be making money on this. And like I said, when you're strapped for time, like if you're a stay at home mom or you just don't have time to shop, or if you live in an area where there are no thrift stores and you can't drive an hour out all the time to go shopping, these types of boxes can be a good buy. If you can find someone trustworthy like Ashley, who is going to send you good inventory and not just a bunch of junk. I have seen people get really bad mystery boxes in the past, so I wouldn't say I recommend always buying a mystery box. And if you are going to buy a mystery box, just buy from someone that you know has a good reputation and that you trust. The only reason I bought this specific box is because I know Ashley, I've spoken to her. I know she is not going to rip people off and she did a really good job making this box profitable for me. So now I have a bunch of inventory. I don't have to go source it. I can just take pictures, get them listed, and I'm good to go. So hopefully this was a fun video for you, kind of unboxing this mystery box and then looking everything up to show you how I run comps really quick. Um, I try to spend a minute or less on each item because when you're listing items and you're reselling, time really is money and you wanna get through um, everything as quickly as you can and, and just keep moving along and not spend too much time researching things unless it's something that you know you can sell for a lot of money. Um, I don't necessarily spend a lot of time researching items that I know I'm only gonna sell for 20 or $30. I also wanted to take a moment to mention that I do have a free eBay training. So if you have not started reselling at all and you just kind of wanna get the basics down and just kind of see if it's for you and what's possible, um, go ahead and check that free eBay training um, down below in the links below. I also have a free inventory worksheet that is free to download. You just enter your email address and I'll email you um, the template for it. And uh, it's a great way to keep all of your inventory organized. It's what I use. And as soon as I'm done with this video, I'm actually gonna take all of this inventory and log it into my inventory spreadsheet myself because I like to do that as soon as I get new inventory in. So I have all the details fresh in my mind. I know um, exactly what I have on hand. I know how much I paid for it and all that kind of important stuff. And I just have a log of all the inventory in my office, whether it has been listed or not. At least I have it logged and I've already done the research for pricing so I can put in there what I'm going to price it at and all that fun stuff. So if you want to check out that free inventory spreadsheet, you can check that down in the description box below as well. So hopefully you found this video helpful. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more videos about reselling, making money from home and building multiple streams of income, make sure you follow me and I will see you next time. Bye.